the current uh, second uh, top scorer in the MTN Pass Super League 2019-2020 campaign. He scored a 14 goals so far for his uh, club uh, Red Arrows. Having played uh, for teams like Zanaku, National Assembly, City of Lusaka, not forgetting uh, Makumi's cast in the early 2000s, his determination, his hard work, and him a place at uh, Morocco's Fallows in the PSO of the APSA Premiership where he won the Golden Boot Award. Years later, he went on and played for some clubs in China, where he was there for 10 good years. 2019 came, he's now back in the country playing for a club known as Red Arrows. He's my guest on the second episode of Pink Bowler, right here with me, JDM. We are coming to you from the beautiful stadium of Nkoloma, right here in Lusaka, Zambia. His name is James Chamanga. mentioned I'll be joined by a legend in the game regarding a Zambian football he plays for Red Arrows and this morning he's giving us an insight regarding his career we are at his home ground this is Ankoloma Stadium right here in Lusaka Zambia good to see you after three months of no action at James how are you doing I'm not doing okay I'm missing the action mm -hmm. and um, I can't wait us to be to be on the pitch to be on the pitch because now they have given us a date to start so now yes I feel the energy now is coming back and I'm ready to go. And how was it like being told there'll be no games for three months in the MTM First Super League? We, we've been praying, you know, and praying to say that God, all these things can go away and mm -hmm. we can go back to normal life. So for me, the dream has come true that God has seen us through this as a, as a nation. Mm -hmm. We have got so people, people have died, but not so much a number like our friends are experiencing in yes, other countries. Yes. So it's a blessing. So. We're good to go. Okay, let's now take it back from your childhood. How was it like growing up, you know? Uh, give us, how was it like in your early days as a child, growing up in the streets of Luansha, I believe, yes. now in Lusaka. Give us a brief account of what it was like growing up in Luansha. You know, when, when you're a child who, loves, who grew up in a family of sportsmen, my brothers were football players, mm -hmm. I just used to love to play football, you know, and just also just to enjoy to watch them. Uh, I used to follow mostly my our fourth born was playing for United, so mm -hmm. I used to admire him, and I used to always go to pick his football boots and mm -hmm. always to follow him. And uh, we just loved uh, getting nicknames like Msiska, you know, Wisdom Chancer. Mm -hmm. You go on and on. Zambia used to be, it's, it's been a a footballing nation for, for over years so now. we grew up watching football so us we just loved playing football mm -hmm. i never knew i was going to become a profession one day but i my dream was to play football and i used to love just playing football okay now you've told us uh look like you've looked up to all these names which you've mentioned locally wisdom and the likes but what was your ambition did you ever think that one day i would don the zambian colors playing for the country definitely uh I used to tell people, you know, when I was young, I used to tell them to say, one day you guys will clap for me. Wow. They used to doubt me. I used to tell them to say, one day I'm going to be on that bus that is going to Independence Stadium. Lovely. And when it came true, they still today mm -hmm. witness to that. They still tell me to say, you told us this. It wasn't like a surprise to mm -hmm. us. So when this came to, to me also, it didn't come to me as a surprise because mm -hmm. I was asking God and praying all these that I was working very hard. Mm -hmm. From my childhood, even when I was going to school, I knew that one day I was going to wear the green colors of, of our nation. So mm -hmm. when it came to, for me, it was a dream come true, but it wasn't a surprise to me it's because surprise. I knew one day it would come to pass. Okay, since you knew that obviously one day I'm going to, you know, I'll be on TV, you watch me on TV, you know, I'll play for my country. And uh, how, you know, every parent would love to see their kids, you know, uh, do them proud, you know, be it uh, academic levels or even talent. How did your parents receive and used to say, Mom, in in funka footballer. Um, unfortunately, my mom passed away when I was very young. Okay. Yeah, um, she passed away in 1993. I was like in grade grade three by then. Mm -hmm. My father was there. By the time when I was called for the first call up for the national team, my father was there to witness. Mm -hmm. So he was uh, excited. He was giving me some advice about where you, remember we are coming from. Remember your brothers. Yes. Remember to remain humble as you have been, as uh, your mom brought you up. Mm -hmm. Um, and um, he was he was just 
it, it was overwhelming for him to watch the first game when he heard that I was playing for the national team. Mm. Um, and, and he's still alive today and he still supports me. And uh, it has been an encouraging thing for me to have uh, him on my side supporting me and also just to give me a word of one or two for me to keep on going. And your career. siblings? They are all, um, we are six of us in my family. Mm -hmm. Our second born is no more. Uh, but they were all with me when I began my, my journey mm -hmm. in the national team. Mm -hmm. And they have been really supportive of me. Um, of course, uh, nothing was easy, but uh, we put one or two things across for me to have boots yeah. for me to have the equipment which I required for me to play locally mm -hmm. they really supported me up to up to uh, the time when I, I started playing for the national team now I'm glad that you brought in the aspect of uh, you know boots you know uh, a good kit and uh, I'm sure having you know played uh, for different you know uh, leagues in Africa and of course China uh, what are, what was it like you know in terms of challenges, what did you encounter and how did you overcome that? Yeah, you know, uh, first start, starting locally, like you are saying, I uh, started with, um, let's say, me, me just say average equipment. So mm -hmm. meaning I didn't have the best boots by then. So yeah. I would have to manage to overcome. But, you know, we are playing home. Uh, this is Zambia. So yes. now you need to find a way how to get to the biggest stage for you to get the best equipment because there now they get you everything. Yeah. So now I'm moving on to South Africa now. There now the wasn't a bit um, like I was struggling in terms of equipment there now everything hard now I had gone into a platform now mm. it's into a profession where now I had everything what you need now is to perform mm -hmm. so now um, the, the challenges there now was for me to perform and then now to come out of that situation now mm. because in Zambia they knew me now they had to gain put myself in another gear for me to bring out the results which they needed me to why they brought me there mm -hmm. It was a very difficult period for me. Yeah. I went like six, seven months without scoring goals or pushbacks. Mm -hmm. The last three months of my contract, things boomed up and then God just blessed me and things were just started flowing. I scored like nine goals in six, in six games. Mm -hmm. So things opened up and then I went to Super Sport. Things were now flourishing now. Yes. Things were now showing now. Yes. But I continued working hard until Swallows things worked out for good mm -hmm. in, in that year and then I got a golden boot and then I was on my way to China mm -hmm. and things now started becoming not even easier started becoming harder because now going to China people are telling me about the language the food yes how do uh, you communicate how do you come how am I going to be communicating yes. so I was going there with a lot of but I knew that football is is a sign language mm -hmm. me say so because all what we do is Use follow. just the ball. The ball. So mm -hmm. I knew that I was going to make it. Mm -hmm. I, I went there with positive energy, and just, uh, I knew that I was going to do it. Mm -hmm. I was in China. Yeah. My family was there. My wife was there to support me. My kids were there to make me smile when I come back from training. Yes. They strengthened me, and uh, they made me stronger. And then I had a good time there also. Mm -hmm. Now we can't talk about. Uh, uh, we can't really ignore humble beginnings. We can't uh, talk about uh, James Chamanga, but you know, without uh, bringing in the aspect of hard work, you know, being a prayerful person, being determined. L let's uh, uh, bring it back home a bit. Your early days, in the early 2000s, you know, you played uh, for teams like uh, Makumbi Stars, uh, Zanako at some point, you know, a National Assembly, and not forgetting uh, City of Lusaka. How was it like playing for these clubs in the country at that time? It was, uh, for me, it was, uh, it was a, uh, let me just say, it was a, a stepping stone for me to go to the biggest stage. Mm -hmm. With the, my, sta my, 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 my target was the national team. So my, for playing for these clubs, for me, it was, uh, I was enjoying myself because mm -hmm. I wanted to have a new challenge always. So for me, it was like a blessing for me to be changing one year after the other, to be changing, to be going to a different challenge. Mm -hmm. So because when I go outside, this will create a platform for me to play with different kind of people from different cultures. Mm -hmm. So this was a, was, was a good stepping stone for me. Mm -hmm. I enjoyed myself and I learned a lot of things across this um, five clubs that I played in Zambia. Mm -hmm. So because I played against uh, for average teams, then I played for the top teams, top teams yes. and the middle teams. Mm -hmm. So I, I learned a lot and then it transformed me to be who I am today. All right. Now, having learned and acquired experience at these, uh, you know, local clubs which you've mentioned, you went on to play, I think, uh, in one of the best leagues in Africa, you know, uh, the PSL in the APSA Premiership. You go there, you, you know, you join uh, Morocco Swallows, you win Golden Boots. Was that your ultimate goal before you signed 
for Morocco Swallows in SA? Uh, for me, when I signed for Bushbacks in the beginning, mm -hmm. that was my ultimate goal mm -hmm. for me to be to go and do and get the golden boot. Because at that time, we had already had Mbesuma, yes. and already Dennis Slaughter, yes. already Chris Katongo, mm -hmm. that already won the golden boot. So mm -hmm. I was just following their footsteps to say, I wish one day to be like what these guys have done for me to leave a record in mm -hmm. this place. Mm -hmm. So I had an opportunity to play for, for Bushbacks. Mm -hmm. So now things didn't go well at Bushbacks, Super Sport almost. I almost did it, but did so work out. <laughs> <laughs> as Super Sport, I got an injured. injured. Okay. I got an injury for again another six months. Uh, so this slowed me down and I couldn't get the golden boot. When I went to Swallows, I went there injured mm -hmm. at Swallows, but I got I recovered quickly before the season started. Mm. So when the season started, this time I was now eager. To eager. Play I was again. more focused. Mm. I knew about the PSL. Now I was ready. And the coach there gave me a lot of support. Mm. My teammates as well as mm. they are with me. So this gave me a platform to mm. be to perform well. It was amazing. I was called amazing goals at at as well as. Yes, I was yes. like I was like in the top of my my form. Mm -hmm. I think I've I've, I've never had a better form in the past 15 years of my career than the had at Swallows. At Swallows. Because that's when one of the records still stays, it remains. Mm -hmm. So I was uh, I was excited. Then when I was coming back with the golden boot back, coming back home, mm -hmm. my family was the excited. Kids, your too. wife. By then, I, 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 I didn't have kids by then. Oh, by then, yeah. My kids came when I was in China. Mm -hmm. But then when I was coming back, my family, my wife, my, my, my siblings, mm -hmm. they were just like, oh, couldn't wait to see me with the with, 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 uh, the award. With the award. Mm. So when I arrived at the airport, amazing, they were all at the airport. Mm -hmm. So I arrived and they were receiving me. Ah, it's, it's, it was just amazing. Emotional. Yeah, yeah, really, mm. really, because yeah, it was a time when I was like almost coming to an end of my of my contract. So mm -hmm. I needed that breakthrough, and God just brought it at the right time mm -hmm. for me to get the golden boot. Now the breakthrough comes along. You are happy. Your family is excited. Um, your siblings, they are happy. They are proud of you. Uh, the nation is excited to see James Chamanga doing well, you know, in a foreign league like uh, the PSL. And then what follows next is that we see this legend, you know, signing or joining uh, a club, you know, in China where most people, you know, they, you know, they perceive it to be a not so strong league because uh, most players, they go there when they have reached, I think, uh, their prime time over their career. The likes of uh, Drogba, Eto, you know, these, you know, you know, these are players have done that. But on your side, a chance comes. Now that you've conquered, you know, Zambia, you've conquered Africa, and now it's time to conquer China. What came to mind when they said, uh, James, a chance has come to play in China. For me, I didn't even hesitate. I had, uh, I had two opportunities. I had one at uh, Dynamo, Moscow, uh, Dynamo Moscow in Russia, yes. a trial also uh, in Norway, mm -hmm. storms got set. Yes, yes. So I had two trials and then didn't work out. But the opportunity came to China also. I had to go there first for a trial for two weeks. Mm -hmm. And uh, I was just like, this is my, my destination. Because when I arrived there, like people say, they don't know what is happening in China. Yes, the league yes, is not easy. Yes. When I arrived there, I was like in trial for two weeks. Mm. When I joined Darren Sheet, Shied, uh, it was um, one of the biggest clubs. If you look in the history of China football, it's one mm -hmm. of the biggest mm -hmm. clubs that I joined in, uh, in China. Uh, football there is not easy. If you look at the record of the people that have come there, mm. Drogba and everyone, they yes. never stayed more than two years yes. because they've got the barrier of language barrier communication communication food, food. it's not an excuse for football mm -hmm. they say a bad computer blames the stools yes. so you can't say it's because of language i fail to play football is the same is played same way whether in china or europe but when people come there they come with a wrong motion to say there's no football that's what they fail but i stayed there for 10 years and it's one of um, among the three four foreigners that have stayed for more than 10 years in yes, china yes 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 there's one guy from Serbia, me another guy from congo mm -hmm. we are the only foreigner that have stayed more than 10 years, 10 in, China. years in China. Or yeah. 10 years. Mm -hmm. None have stayed more than even 5 years. L many others, 4 years, 5 years, yes, but more, more than 10 years, we were only like 3. Mm -hmm. Because of the way we took the league serious. And because of that, I would advise others who would love to go to China to 
go there and take the league serious as we are going there because mm. the league is not easy. It's not easy. Indeed. Yeah, and it's not easy as people perceive it. Perceive think. it, yeah. Yeah. Otherwise, for me, I had to work very hard. And uh, in the during this period, in the last years of my career in China, I, the, I even earned captain. It's not easy for a foreigner to be trusted in a foreign land mm. where they are. But so mm. for me, I was proud of that achievement, and I was I thank God for that blessing also mm. because now I have to transform my Zambian nature to the Chinese people mm-hmm. to know how Zambia is, how I can lead as a, an African man and a Zambian to lead a group of Chinese. Mm. So it was not easy for them for them to trust me. But I was proud of this period and I, I'm still be thankful to God for me to have given me an opportunity yeah. like this. Now your name can't you know miss in terms of uh, uh, one of the top strikers I think who've done very well in Africa. Uh, not only at a club level, also at a uh, you know national team level. You no, know, before we bring in the aspect of the Afcon 2012, let's talk about the goals which you scored. Uh, you know, in China, one would say, was well, this scoring uh, in every game, or was he, <laughs> or was he just you know uh, playing against the weaker sides? You know, but take us through scoring all those goals in China. Uh, for me, yeah, there were, were but uh, many foreigners that have played there, mm. big names. Um, they would witness. They would do the same. If they, if it was easy, they would have scored more than me yeah. because that big names like Tevez came there. Yes, yes. And, uh, Nicolas Anelka was mm-hmm. there. Drogba was there. Drogba was there. Yeah, they never stayed. They said they stayed within a year, mm. but within a year they never scored more than thirty goals. Yes. But uh, they would say no they were in their time when they were not in their prime. Mm. But for me, I don't think it it is that. Mm. It's because of maybe we need to adapt to a league. And certain system of a of a game, mm-hmm. and I was able to adapt well to this league, and I took it seriously, mm-hmm. and I knew this is my my so-called Europe to others. It was my China, yeah. was my Europe. So yeah. I took it serious, and I knew I wanted to achieve something. Mm-hmm. So I had to make sure that I work hard on my weaknesses, which I was to be scoring more than what I was scoring in the previous mm-hmm. seasons. Mm-hmm. So I was able to come up with the, all those goals in China. Otherwise, Lovely. for me, um, it was a blessing. It was a blessing indeed. Yeah. Now that. Uh, Having played in China for good, uh, solid uh, 10 years, you've learned the culture, you've even uh, enjoyed the food, I believe. Yes. <laughs> yes. You know, you've uh, created a network for yourself, not only for, your, for yourself, but also for your country. Your family is proud, your siblings are happy. 10 good years, one would think that uh, a player would hang his boots, you know, go home and enjoy the benefits which a player has put in all these, uh, you know, years mm. from the early 2000s at uh, Makumbi Stars and now playing, you know, for uh, a club in China. Ten years down the line, uh, the worst part of any player is injury. Ten years down the line, uh, injury concerns come and they affect you. Did you ever feel that I think I must give up um, and go back home? For me, uh, a time like that. Uh, came when I was uh, at this um, 2017 2018 yes, season. Yes, yes, that period. Yes, um, mm. uh, I got a very serious injury. Mm. I broke my shoulder, and uh, the, I was told by the doctor to say, um, uh, You cannot play until the end of the season. Wow. It was the beginning of the season, and uh, it was like, Now I had to have eight months out of action. Mm. So now, this is the period where my wife was like, ah, I think you have done your part. Yes. We need to go back home. Yes. But, uh, I told my wife, I said, no, I'm not yet done. Six months down the line, mm-hmm. I went back to the doctor and I told him, you're going to remove whatever is in my shoulder. Mm-hmm. And I know God is going to bless me and it's going to come onto my shoulder and I'm yes. going to play again. Mm-hmm. He was like, I don't understand you. I've told you, as me as a doctor, this is what is going to happen to you. You cannot recover before eight months. Six months down the line, I went to the doctor and I showed him. And he said, what I'm seeing here is not what I was expecting. So now we're going to remove this. I said, you remove it. I've told you, remove it. In December, I'm going to start to play. And he had an operation for about... The operation which they took one hour to put the iron inside for me to get healed, took 10 minutes to remove it in the second operation. Mm. So now I told them to say, you're going to see me play. Where the, where the photo, where the, where the small video, I told them to be the witness for him to show that I'm going to play again. Yeah. Within, a, within six months, seven months down the line, I was on the field. Just like that. Just like that. You see, this is what, what is amazing about God. Yes. I yes. don't know how he, how how he does things, but when you remain humble and you know that He is the one that you are serving, and who's going to be the pillar in your in your career, in your career, life, in your your life career, and your career, yeah. nothing is impossible for Him. I'm still here. Mm-hmm. I want to celebrate others. Yeah. This is why I haven't hung up my boots because 
Now it's not about achieving. It's about transforming what I have in me to the young ones. So now, if I do something at Trade Arrows, mm -hmm. for example, if we can achieve something this season, mm -hmm. well and good. If we don't achieve something, God willing, if I can transform these same ideas, which are transformed to the young ones at Trade Arrows, mm -hmm. transform to other clubs, mm -hmm. for me to be a blessing before I retire and before I hang up my boots. But I want to celebrate others, to see them also go to China, go and t make 10 years, go to Europe, go and make 10 years, to mm -hmm. say they pass through my arms or my advice or they hate something from me. Mm -hmm. But you can also celebrate others the way I'm being celebrated yeah. right now to say, James, we are 10 years in China. I want to mm -hmm. see others also make it in the same way. Wow, inspiring. Now, let's now bring it back to 2019. You've done your part in China. You've been, uh, you know, adored by young ones who do look up to you. 2019, we see and hear that uh, James Jemba Jemba Chamanga is coming back uh, to the motherland of Zambia. At first, uh, news was that you were given a job, by the way, at your club in China to be the technical director of which uh, uh, you, you know, I'd say that I was given a job, but uh, for some, they were saying, why is he coming back at Red Arrows, you know, for three months at first. But take us through that, you know, process of you uh, not accepting or not, uh, you know, doing your duties in China and coming back to play for Red Arrows. Yeah, when I was given the opportunity for me to be director and I was given the job. Yes. So yes. it's on paper. Mm. Uh, people believe it was on paper. Mm. And it was on paper, yes. Mm -hmm. I was. I took up this position of the second team, the B side of the club. Yeah. So I was given all the, I was to do the programs for them for the last six months of the season. So now I have to do their program. They're traveling. I do the programming for their training, mm. their recovery even the the games so i had to make the, the, those programs now here uh i needed to have a qualification which i needed to for me to hold on to this position which i need to have ufrc license oh, okay. i didn't have so yeah. unfortunately i had now to sit back and come back to say okay i'm still playing yes. i haven't given up on that yes i said okay this i'm still this is knowledge is with me uh is something that I've, I've experienced in my time of my playing so mm. anytime i can still go back and do this. Mm. So now I need first to finish first the first part, which I'm still playing. Mm. I need first to transform first. Transforming me, I believe in transforming with the players on the field. This is why you see me still not hanging up the boots. The boots see, so soon, people, yeah. uh, they must sometimes, most of the players, they want to see the action. So they must see me work with them. Sometimes I think that is the best way to transform what I have to them. So mm. as I'm still having this not to say maybe let me play two three more years if i finish in this way then maybe some of the players they will learn because when they see me do what i'm speaking about they will understand what it is because i i, I make time to pick three four players from red arrows even from other clubs mm. to go with them in the gym to show them what to do in the gym the mm. recovery and everything yeah. so they, when i transform it to them in this way maybe they will learn better so now that was why that issue of the team of director yes yes yeah now coming back to zambia yes. and now coming to play now that is the other part which i now said okay now i haven't i cannot just go on and finish out of china let me come on finish in my in my home in, in, my, in, my, home, country. in my country and yeah. then transform what i've learned from outside from to come and side, yeah. transform it to the young ones then yeah. before i hang up my boots mm -hmm. so this is why i ended up At now choosing red arrows was also another issue because yes. My wife was like, I haven't played for Red Arrow. said, okay, listen, if I go to Zanako, they will say, Zanako is Zanako. If I go to Zesco, is Zesco. Zesco, yes. yeah. Now, the impact of changing, it's not about choosing Zanako or Zesco. Mm -hmm. I can go even to Zesco and go and transform the young, there are still young players in Zesco. Indeed, indeed. But I've never played for Red Arrow. So mm -hmm. I said, let me have a different experience. And also transform first, start from where? If I have to be head, I have to make an impact to say, I've done something where I'm coming from. In a team which people don't expect to see the difference. See because if I will be in Zesco, they will say it's obvious. If I be in Zanako, they will be mm. it's obvious. Yeah. But I thank God that when I came, the impact came immediately. That just came in, in the very season when I came. Mm -hmm. God has blessed me and uh, the team has helped me. They have welcomed me well and have performed according to people's expectation mm -hmm. in my first season, mm -hmm. which I thank God for. Yeah. Because sometimes yeah. you may find that you have stayed long, long outside, you find that the league has changed. Mm -hmm. You won't perform in the yeah. first season, yeah. but I thank God that I came to Red Arrows and things have worked out the way they have worked out, mm -hmm. which is, um, which was good. The first three months was not so, not so, I'm not so good. sure, sure yes. but <laughs> the full season, it, it opened up mm -hmm. and things have gone. Smoothly, uh, pretty well, yeah. So far, yeah. Now, I'm glad you you know you brought in the aspect of you, uh, you know, having to choose where to go to Zesco, uh, Zanako, or even Green Eagles or Napsa. But 
you made a choice to say I'll be playing for Red Arrows. And uh, today we are at the beautiful Coloma Stadium, your, you know, uh, you know, uh, home for Red Arrows. Uh, you are now part of the team, and uh, I believe every player goes through, you know, criticism, either positive or negative. A lot of people say that uh, you know, he won't, you know, do well for, you know, at a club level. Uh, let's see what happens. But you defiled the odds, in the sense that you are now 40. And uh, on your 40th birthday, you had, I think, one of the, uh, the best goals so far in the season. On your 40th birthday this year in February 2nd, you scored a goal that in the Red Arrows, three points, maximum points, you know. Was it part of the plan that I won't look at age? Because you have players in their 30s, in their late, to, you know, 20s, they would say, I'm giving up. But you've gone all the way and you've scored goals right here at Goloma Stadium. And uh, you've scored actually more goals away whenever, you know, your team is playing away, you know, against teams like Power Dynamos, you know, Maite. What has kept you going? What has kept Chamanga, you know, on the toes? So that even the teams that you play for are now saying he's 40 but he's scoring goals. Um. It's a, it's, a, it's a difficult question to answer. But uh, you can try. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'll, uh, um, let me tell you, uh, I'm inspired by a lot of things. Mm -hmm. You know, my young, player, my young brother is still playing, Luca is playing for Power Dynamo. Yes, yes, yes. Um, I need him to know that uh, I didn't just speak. I want to be with him and show him to, uh, to mm -hmm. say, uh, this, is your, this is what you need to do. Mm -hmm. But listen, um, getting to this far, yeah. uh, I go back to, again, to what I've been saying. Um, mm -hmm. See, there's a difference between knowledge and wisdom. Okay, God has been my pillar in my career. Understand? So, me, I then, I, in my early stages, and I understood who I am. We have got Cristiano Ronaldo in this life, Messi. You know, yes. we have always popular by nature. Beckham didn't have anything but just have a free kick. Mm -hmm. He was naturally loved by people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Along the way, if you remember my Zambian time in national team, yes. people never, never, knew, really knew James Chamanga mm. as a big name in Zambia yeah, national team. Yeah, yeah. But you see, go sometimes uses the foolish things to su surprise the people think they're intelligent yeah, yeah, yeah. and i believe so god has worked in my life mm -hmm. and because of wh what god has done in my life i'm still standing i'm not special but you see i can tell you in my in, in my football career me i do fasting and praying wow okay during the season during the time when things were difficult for me i do fasting and praying mm -hmm. i need to do fasting for me for me to keep my there's a what I call my flesh must be alive with yeah. the food that we eat, but yes. my spirit needs to be alive with what God feeds me with. So for me to be alive today and to be stronger, to mm -hmm. be playing stronger like this, mm -hmm. I owe it what God has been doing in my life. Not because I'm just stronger, because I can train, I can run mm -hmm. more hard mm -hmm. and everything, but there's something special about when you depending on God. On God, yeah. Because I know people may not agree. Yes, I'm not a perfect, perfect human being. I've made my own mistakes, but I don't go astray. You have to remember that I'm a child of God, mm -hmm. and I need to go back to Him to say, God, forgive me, and I need to go back in my yeah, own way. Yeah. These are things were difficult for me. Like for example, things go bad for me. Like I don't score maybe in the next seven games. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I need to go back to my knees and ask God for me to say, God, I need to go back to my scoring ways. And it has always opened up doors for, those those for, for me. You, yeah. And things have happened for me. Having played for a club like Red Arrows. And you are the current uh, second top scorer on the top scorer's chart. Of course, number one, we do have uh, Basile, who plays uh, for Saka Dynamos. He's on 15 goals, and you are second on uh, 14 goals. When it comes to scoring goals, what do you think is a missing li li no link? Because we have players like Jesse Jackson Nguere, Zikuru you know, Adams uh, from Forest Rangers, you as well. We don't have more Zambian players on the chat do you do you, do you think that mindset needs to be changed and if so how for me the first of all the players they, they have got uh, uh, personal dreams and goals mm. what do you want to achieve yeah what is your what what what, what should you not be there on the list mm -hmm. on the top five top five why exactly. shouldn't be there mm. so for me uh, first of all self-determination as these are our players i'm sure they are they are too reluctant when they score a goal, mm -hmm. they go in the second week, they think they can score without working harder than the previous week. Because when you score, it means the next team, they are studying mm -hmm. you. Mm -hmm. So meaning what you did previously, you must do more. 
it's opposite you can't do you can't relax because you have scored in the this week and then next week mm. you think it will be easier mm. it will be more harder so meaning you have to even to train more harder and you have to be more into improving whatever whatever has been your advantage in what you did in the previous game so meaning if you've got like right now some of the games that have eyes if you play a good game against Mufrida Wandra mm -hmm. Speak to the people in the media. Have a copy of, yeah, the, of the game. Of the go game. and watch your, your your good moments, mm -hmm. and go and watch your dumb moments, and then you can improve. Because now the players they they go on. You know, we've got fans. They applaud you when you score. Yes, yes. So now yes. people just stay in that you atmosphere to say, yeah, you no, I've in scored. There. So no, you forget to work harder. <laughs> yeah. Because now the, the your fear must be. Am I going to score next week? Next week, yeah. That is your fear. That must be your fear. And mm -hmm. that is what you're supposed to be working against because are they going to applaud me again next yeah, week? So yeah. now you need to work harder so that you can keep scoring. Mm -hmm. That is what is missing in this one, some of these players. They get comfortable too quickly. They need to start working on their advantage, which they did in the previous games, previous mm -hmm. season. You can look at the old games. Me, I still go back to my old goals from China. Is I mean, it? Yes. I watch, I watch the videos before the game. I'm going to play against in Ghana. I have to watch my previous scored goals in China. Wow. I can still pick the moments. I can still pick. I have the feeling to say, in this moment, I have to come in the, in the game. I'll do the same. Mm -hmm. So you know, I, I replicate some of, the, some of the goals from old. It might, be ex might, might not be exact, but that moment, that idea, it may come at, and you may need, need to use it at that moment. In the next games to yes, come. You can, you, you, can, you can do that. So yeah. they, need to, they need to start working on those things slowly slowly mm. and then it, it will re let the, you see fame anybody who has got no wisdom fame will eat you up no matter how you can say no because you're not playing for red arrows you don't know what it means to score a goal how people will be calling you from all over from all, cause uh, the, you the know, whole office will be calling the you the excitement is like you have it gets the players hours away. You have <laughs> so everybody with you is going to be excited yeah, yeah. so no matter how you can be you will say no fame won't get to my head and you start playing for Red Arrows. For when you score yeah. a goal against Inkana, yeah. then you see how fame will come to you yeah. and you do, how it will eat you up. Mm -hmm. It's supposed to be opposite. Mm -hmm. When the fame comes, it's time people are telling you to work harder because now they're happy with what you're doing. Don't get too comfortable. They get too comfortable too quickly because they're always want. They're reaching the their uh, prime time like, too quickly. Mm -hmm. They mm -hmm. just score mm -hmm. one goal, two goals. They're always like too overexcited. Let's now talk about title prospects for Red Arrows. This season, what does James Chamanga want to win for Red Arrows right here at Nkoloma Stadium? First of all, like I said, first of all is to win the young players. Mm -hmm. That is winning them from their so-called average form habit to be champions. Mm -hmm. That is my first target. Mm -hmm. That's why I joined Red Arrows, Red Arrows to transform yeah. them from just believing themselves to say, I'm not just at Red Arrows, just to participate, to, to achieve something. Mm -hmm. To do something that is the first target is to transform them to be professional this is professional football yeah. you don't have to wait until you go outside the same transformation I don't know, only that now you are playing outside but now since you're playing local you have to first practice from here that is the first target mm -hmm. the second target for me is uh of course to try to make get champions league sport for the club for the club and we are almost there we are we may not be in the top four right mm -hmm, now, mm -hmm. but we have got only a few points from the top four teams. Yeah, yeah. And we've got nine games left. Mm -hmm. You never know what can happen in the yeah. nine games, but that is that is my target. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, if God blesses, it goes into my record that I win the Golden Boot. It will be a blessing because I've never won it in Zambia. In Zambia. I was coming yeah, to so that, actually. Yeah. Um, if God blesses me and I go to win the Golden Boot, mm -hmm. it will be a blessing. And also, it will be an, an example again. To the young players. Young players. Yeah. So, to say, they can do it. Yeah. They can do it. If me, I can still push at my, in my 40s. In your 40s, yeah. They can also push and even do more mm -hmm. because you have got many talented Zambian players. Yeah. The problem is they get too comfortable too quickly. Too quickly, yeah. The fame goes to their heads too too quick mm -hmm. for me i think so 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 that so those are just the targets I, I mentioned from the beginning when yeah. i joined radar i was to say those are the targets that i want to uh, if i can if i don't achieve anything from those three those three at, at least, least one, one of them one of them <laughs> will be guaranteed yeah. i'm going to win mm -hmm. some of these players to be more professional and things they have learned from mm -hmm. the time i've been here yeah how to remain professional and mm -hmm. how to try to get to the big stage okay yeah. so if uh, let's say uh, a call would come from mitchell to say uh, Chamanga would love you to be part of uh, the national team. Are you, are you going to turn down the offer? Because what you've um, you know shown us in the league is that 
it's possible to still, you know, uh, play for your country. Would you take it? No, uh, I've mentioned that several times, many interviews. Mm. I've turned it down because uh, I've done my part. Mm -hmm. Uh, now we're waiting for Zambia to qualify to the World Cup. I've been to the Nations Cup many times. Yes, yes, I've yes. been to the Africa Cup many times. Many times. Uh, to go back there again, <laughs> it's not an achievement. Yeah. I've done that already. Mm -hmm. So I need to transform these young ones now to go and experience what mm. we, we experienced when I was at, at, uh, at that level. So mm. uh, for me, I would say no. No. Yeah, well, I would be there to help to for training, mm -hmm. for advice sake, for me to go and train with them. Mm -hmm. But they can just see how how you can play at the highest level and how it feels like how it feels yeah. like and how we mu ready you must be because the training is different mm -hmm. you can't train the way you have been training at the club and think you're going to train them on the national team is different yeah. so yeah. those things i'm ready to participate mm -hmm. and help them yeah. but to play no to play no because there are many aspiring players national mm -hmm. team we need to give them opportunities, opportunities also yeah. club level is different but for national team is limited number yeah, so yeah. there we need to have op many opportunities for the young ones mm -hmm. we have got many upcoming players yeah. uh, from the under 20 that are doing very fine okay name four <laughs> uh, of course Patson is scoring goals so yes. for me as a striker is one of one of <laughs> yeah. he's doing very fine mm -hmm. is there with with him mm -hmm. uh, we have got uh, fashion also is doing yes. very fine yes uh, we have got uh, Mulenga in South Africa yes. is doing very fine yes. local here local yes of course we've got uh, the likes of Bruce mm -hmm. they're doing fine I've got Rally at Power Dynamo. So there's many, many mm -hmm. that they, they only just need to transform what is in them mm -hmm. now to grow mm -hmm. and then take it to the big stage. Yeah. Otherwise, yeah. I've got a lot of aspiring uh, young players. Yeah. yeah. You know, you've given us uh, an exclusive insight, you know, of your career from how you started uh, up to today and what you've achieved so far. Let's now wrap it up by talking about the resumption of the MTN First Super League this month, July 18th is the proposed date for you know games to resume in the country after four months of no games you players have struggled i believe to keep fit i mean let's be honest <laughs> most players have struggled you know, to keep fit the fans are waiting but this time around when the league resumes james the stands will be empty like what we are seeing today there will be no fans in the stadiums how will it be like playing at nkoloma with no fans of course it will be different, um, but we have been told to say we need to finish the nine games and yes. the league needs to wrap up. Mm -hmm. uh, we have uh, started adjusting already, mm -hmm. because it's the mind, but football will be played without the fans, but exactly. we, we need the points. We need the points. Of course we have got the 12th player, which is the fans, mm -hmm. to give us that push and also to celebrate with them when you score. When you score that goal. But, <laughs> <laughs> but um, imagine, okay, you go to play, you are playing away. You are playing in, An in Tunisia. Okay, of course there will be fans that will be supporting Tunisia. Yes. But they are not your fans. So it means when you score, you don't celebrate with them. Even if they will be like they will be booing you, but mm -hmm. once you have scored, mm -hmm. it's like mostly uh, we have about an environment similar to that. Mm -hmm. So not ne necessary that you know, because there will be no fans, it will, don't be exciting. It will be exciting, mm -hmm. and we are looking forward to this because this is what we do. It's our, mm -hmm. This is our yeah, work. Yeah. So we are looking forward, regardless of how the situation is. Mm -hmm. We have already started adjusting our minds and we are ready to go yeah. in this way. Lovely. Yeah. Yeah. Now, James is ready, of course, as you know, to get back on this uh, pitch right here at Ankoloma Stadium. Now, many of you will be asking to say, how are we going to have a feel, you know, of our local stars in terms of Bola Z? We go for a mini break and we come back. He gives advice to the young players in the MTN for Super League. This is a pink bowler with me, Jane Dunta Mwimba, right here at Nkoloma Stadium in Lusaka, Zambia. Welcome back. We are still at Nkoloma Stadium, home of our Red Arrows, and I'm still with a legend in terms of Zambian football. I'm talking about James Jemba, Jemba Chamang, giving us an insight, you know, regarding his, you know, his highs and lows, you know, of his career. Now, uh, James, the last question, which uh, I think most players would appreciate, what is your advice to the young players who are watching us right now? For me, first of all. As a young player, you are, you are excited, you want to play football, have a target, have a dream, mm -hmm. okay? Have a dream what you want to do, mm -hmm. and then start to follow that dream. Mm 
so when they come up now to Premier League yes. level now, here's what 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 is would be my advice to them. Mm -hmm. Remain humble. You see, uh, being humble is going to refrain you from a lot of things. Um, it will refrain you from find yourself into alcohol abuse, mm -hmm. drug abuse, yeah. even women abuse. Yes. Because yes. Um, see, football players they easily become popular with a small thing. You can play a small tournament yeah. and they become popular. Under yeah. 20, under 19, mm. under 17 under tournament, 17. you become popular. Mm. Remain humble. When you remain humble, it means now people, when they're applauding you, they are, now they're telling you to work harder. Mm -hmm. That you can go to the big stage. That's what they're telling you. They're mm. not telling you to say, get comfortable and stop mm. doing what you've been doing. They're, mm. telling, they're telling you now to go to the big stage. Now that is now international team and even to go abroad. So my advice to them is to remain mm -hmm. humble and also involve God in their career. Yeah. Involve God in their career. Let them not omit being close to their families, mm. their, their siblings. Mm -hmm. They are the best people to advise them. Your friends that are around you, that I'm not saying everyone is bad. Some yeah. of them, you can take some, some one or two advice from them, mm. but be close to the, your siblings that have made you to be where you are. Mm. Remain humble, keep listening from them. Even if they're not football players, yeah. they may have an advice for you that can push you in your career, mm. means life-wise. Life-wise, indeed. Yes. It's not about only football. Mm. So now we need to attach even the life-wise part to, 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 to your game. Mm. For me, that would be the advice for me to them. Well, you've heard it. He has said it that uh, you need to have, you know, be patient, be humble, and not forgetting, you know, working hard, but above, in, above all, making a goal that you know your center of everything you go through. He has done it. You players as well can do it. Picking up, you know, from uh, what he says. Now, let's now switch roles because I'll be now inviting or allowing uh, James, you know, for a mini game. I want you to teach me three words in Chinese and I must try by all means to pronounce them correctly. Okay. We're good to go? Okay, no, yes. we are good to go. Yeah. Um, when I was in China, when yes. I arrived, the first mm. thing they taught me, of course, is to, to greet. Yes. So you greet, you find someone, just say ni hao. So greeting ni is ni hao. Ni hao. Ni hao. Ni hao. Then, me, then you, if me, I say ni hao, you will say ni hao, ni hao ma. Okay, let's start. Ni hao. Ni hao ma. Yes. Yes. Like, you have already answered. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Then this the is next interesting. Thing, then the next thing, if I, if I tell my wife I'm going to shower. Yes, how do you say? Yeah, it? you say shizowa. Wow. You tell your wife shizowa. Let me try. Shizowa. Yes. yes. I, I've told my wife I'm going to to shower. To shower. Yes. Yes. Then in the game when we were playing, we were playing a game, and then my friend is passing the ball to me, uh -huh. and then I want him to skip. In English mm -hmm. we say skip, right? Mm -hmm. So now in Chinese you say law. As simple as that. No. Yes, no. So it means, for example, I'm playing on the right wing and my friend behind is a Chinese. Yes. And he sees the boy is coming. He wants me to skip the boy. Instead of speaking in English, uh -huh. he, was not, he won't speak. We mm -hmm. cannot, so they t had to teach me in Chinese. So we just say, law. And then when you say, I, when I hear law, then I just skip the ball, then it goes, it will go to him. Then I'll understand. So that's how I, I came to learn. So instead of saying skip, mm -hmm. just say law. Wow. And that's it. Interesting. So yeah. come uh, July, we're going to see how uh, James is going to be lowering the ball. <laughs> like he said in Chinese, I must say I've enjoyed that this segment, of course, this is, a, this is our second episode, you know, of a Pink Baller with me, JDM, Jen Dunta Mwemba. And I've been your host, like always. You can follow us on our Facebook uh, channel, that's a Pink Sport TV, as well as our YouTube channel a pink sporter tv james humble to have you know being with you this uh, lovely morning it's been a pleasure hope you've enjoyed i've enjoyed and uh i'm looking forward to the starting of the league lovely you yeah. heard it he's looking forward you know to see that uh, the league resumes come at this month 2020 because right now he's eager to score more goals and hopefully like he said he would love to win at the golden boots right here in zambia i've been your presenter jen dunta Mwemba, coming to you from Mount Coloma stadium don't forget that our channels are, are available on our facebook as well as our youtube goodbye
jungle.